Hey there, Robert here with this week's Windows tip. Do you know what the simplest way to share screens with anyone is? I mean, remotely, not standing next to each other. QuickScreenShare.com is a place where you can quickly share your screen with anyone. No registration, nothing to install, assuming you have Java, and is completely free. Just go to the site QuickScreenShare.com, choose whether you want to share your screen or their screen, enter your name, and click Start. You'll then get a one-time use link to send to that person you'd like to share with. When the other person clicks that link and confirms the connection, you'll be able to see their screen or vice versa. If they, the sharer, allow it, you, the sharee, can even control their keyboard and mouse remotely to fix things yourself. You also have the option to share your screen back to them to better show them how to fix their problem. Now if you're a little leery about allowing a remote connection to your computer, not a problem. You'll be able to see the other user's mouse moving around so that they can guide you in the right direction. Again, all you really need for this to work is Java, which many computers already have, especially if you're a Minecrafter. If not, it's easy to get. Minecraft. Quick Screen Share is actually a side project from the creators of Screencast-O-Matic and is still in beta. I put it to use a few times without any problems. At times there's a slight lag, but you can expect that from just about any remote connection. Another thing is that there isn't any communication method directly built in, so you'd have to use an alternate method like talking to them on the phone, through Skype, or with those cans on a string. You could always just use Notepad within the screen share and chat that way like a lot of YouTube tutorials are. QuickScreenShare.com will work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And, as you saw, I was able to control the Mac from my PC. So there you have it, the next time you're in need of quickly helping a client or getting help, use QuickScreenShare.com. It's extremely simple and easy to use. That's it for this week's Windows tip, hopefully you found it useful. You can always subscribe to this channel for free weekly tips and tutorials just like this one. If you like this video, not only be sure to like and favorite it, but also retweet it. There's a retweet link in the description below. For more information on this Windows tip, you can also view the full article over at robertsproductions.net. If you have any suggestions for Windows tips, share your thoughts in the comments below. Again, I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.